All right, welcome back, Bro Golf. Back here with part two. If you've seen part one, you'll know that I came in at five over. Here we are on hole number 10 out here at uh, Yakin Country Club. Just gonna try to see if I can wake up a little bit, give y'all some birdies, give y'all a little bit more excitement. Welcome back, Bro Golf. Here we are, part two at Yakin Country Club. Starting this back nine off on number 10 with a 387 yard par four. End up hitting the driver here, hitting a nice smooth one out there in the middle of the fairway. Left myself about 118. End up choosing sand wedge here, but just didn't push the ball all the way to the back like I wanted to and left it on the front. Uh, left myself about 43 feet here, and this is one of those putts where I'm just trying to lag it close. End up making a good putt stroke, leaving myself about two feet here, and that's pretty much all I can ask for on this hole. Just gonna try to knock this little two footer in for par and try to move on to the next hole. So as we move on to hole number 11, we got a 176 yard downhill par three. End up going with an eight iron off of this tee. Thought I was gonna hit a little draw back into this flag, but end up leaving it out to the left. Left myself about 15 yards and didn't make the best chip shot here. Uh, there's a little hill in the middle of the green that I didn't get over. So all I'm thinking here is make a nice little lag putt. Try to give myself a little tap in like I had on the uh, last hole. Didn't do the best at that, but still was able to come away with a bogey here. All right, guys, so here we are on hole number 12, a 327-yard par 4. Now, this thing dog legs 90 degrees to the uh, left. End up trying to hit right into the dog leg about 166 yards with the pitching wedge and just didn't hit it the best. So now I got to go over these trees to make it to the green, but end up hitting a beautiful shot. You can see my target aim point was right over the uh, point of that one tree. End up hitting the beauty right here to the left side of the green left myself about 15 feet and this right here just trying to make a nice confident stroke so i can leave myself a little tap in par end up doing a pretty good job there left myself about two feet seems to be the story today these two foot puts just not getting the ball to the hole all the way but hey that's a par and we'll take it as we continue to hold number 13 we face with another par three End up having 157 to this flag when I shot it with the range finder. End up going with the pitching wedge. End up shooting that thing over the uh, flag about eight yards. So I left myself a nice little downhill putt. This is one that I really didn't want. Ball ended up getting away from me a little bit here on this uh, putt. Left myself a little bit more to chew on than I wanted to. And just trying to tell that ball slow down. Just slow down next to the hole. So I left myself about five feet here. This one made me pucker up a little bit because I just was like, please don't miss this thing. You told these people you was going to give them some good golf, knock it in the hole. And that's what we did. Okay, here we are on number one handicap on this course, hole number 14, the 420 yard par four is what it was playing. You can see me looking over to the right there because it opens up to the right and uh, end up hitting a pretty decent shot there with the three wood. Didn't really want to take driver because my driver I felt would have faded to the uh, fairway, but would have kicked down to the left. So I didn't really want to leave myself that shot. So you can see the ball sitting here on this hill. Ball's going to be a little bit below my feet here. Not ideal, but uh, pretty much got the same shot as I had on the par three before this. Part three before this was 157, so now I got 167. And if you paid attention, since I hit it over that flag, I'm just gonna try to hit the exact same shot that I hit on that one. Gonna be a little bit difficult because the ball's below my feet, but just make a nice confident stroke. Looking at it and she looks good, looks real good. And we'll take that, we'll take that all day. So as we move to the green, we see we got about 12 feet for bird here. Let's make a nice, confident stroke. Bring that thing in from left to right here. See if we can get these people a birdie. And we can't, so we just gonna knock that on in and we gonna move on to hole number 15. Okay, so here we are on hole number 15 with this A-plus camera working to this part five. 468 yards, end up going with a seven iron here. There is a creek down there, but I end up making it past the creek. End up choosing a uh, nine iron here off of this little crazy lie. End up thinking that I was gonna get a flyer and it did exactly what I thought it was. Good layup there. End up leaving myself about 60 or so yards. You can see that uh, 
ball sitting in the middle of the fairway and this flag is tucked all the way to the back. Got a lot of green to work with here. Just need to make sure that I make it over the hill in the middle of the green. And uh, as far as the camera angle on that shot, whenever I hit the record button, looks like the uh, camera lens reverted to the normal lens and uh, just wasn't able to see it. And that actually happens again a little bit later on in this video, but uh, just something that we're gonna have to work on. Didn't hit the uh, best chip shot there, or I should say pitch shot, because I had about 60 something yards into this flag. Made a great put here, great put. Just ended up leaving it about an inch too short. And I tell you, if a few things go your way, man, this round here could have been special. Knock that in for par, and we're moving on to the next. Hole 16 here, 382 yard par four. Ended up going with seven wood off this tee for the first shot. Hit the ball to the left of the fairway by about seven, eight yards, and we really don't want to miss this fairway to the left. You bring it to uh, play these trees here. Uh, then you have to go straight over these trees to reach the green, but that's nothing that we haven't done before. End up leaving myself 124 yards and choosing a sandwich. Thought I would get a little flyer out of this tall stuff, and you can see me looking at the green to see if I hit the green. End up going middle of the green here, so that shot was worthwhile there. Uh, you can see that divot sitting to the left of the ball, and we'll fix that in a minute. But I got myself about 22 feet, 23 feet or so down this hill. And this is pretty quick. You don't really want to shoot this thing past the hill. You'll bring into account those big numbers there. So we're just going to try to make a good lag putt. See if we can get this thing to settle down by the hole. Leave ourselves a nice little tap-in party. That's all we can ask for. And she did exactly what we wanted. Switch this camera angle up and go and knock in this one two-foot putt. Get away with par and move on to hole number 17. Strong. Two more holes, guys. Two more. Hole number 17 here. Can't really complain. We playing some good golf. We got 367 yards into this part five. And end up choosing a driver off of this hole. And I really don't know why I did that. Because the ball ended up going left. And you can't be left. Hit the cart path. Went into the woods. Had to take a drop here. So for my third shot, I left myself with 124 yards. And since I just had that shot on the last hole, ended up going with the same club. And as you can see from the camera angle here, this is what I was talking about. When I hit play, the lens ended up going back to the normal lens. So you can't really see the hole. So what I'm going to do is just lag this thing up there. Left myself about 35 feet. End up being an actual pretty good putt there. Left myself about three feet here. And I'm going to pause this music so you guys can hear that thing drop on in the hole. Let's listen. And there it is. End up coming away with a lost ball bogey there. But hey, that's all right. All right, guys, here we are on the last hole of this part two of Yak and Country Club. They leave you with a part five to finish it off. We got 482 yards, and I can't ask for a better shot right there. You know how it is when you get to the last hole, you want to get that driver a little bit of gas, and you'll sometimes hit that thing left or right. This time she went right down the middle. Left myself with 178 yards, so you know I gotta try to go for it because I'm trying to hunt this eagle or this bird. End up choosing an eight iron here and actually hit that thing so good that I hit it to the uh, back of the green. That's one that I really don't like. I uh, should have probably hit a nine iron there, but I did not think my eight iron was going to go over 178 yards. Thought I would have ran it up there to the flag, but it actually hit the back of the green road through the bunker and on the top of the bunker. So here I am. I'm left with my third shot here from about 13 yards. End up choosing a lob wedge here. Just going to try to stick one as close as I can, see if I can get up and down for birdie. Give y'all what y'all really came to see. So after making a really good chip there, I left myself with about seven yards here. Want to see if I can uh, set this camera up and then see if I can put this thing on in and give y'all what y'all really came to see. So here we are, bros, with this seven foot birdie put on this par five to end it. We're sitting at seven over. Let me see if I can get y'all what y'all want. Let's go. Six over for the day after that birdie. Can't complain. Had a great day of golf. 
five over on the front nine, one over on the back nine. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends, your family. That birdie will keep me coming back for at least three more years because I love those. And always remember when you come to this channel, we not pro golfers, we bro golfers.